Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you're probably wondering, what the heck is on your face? I'm wondering the same thing. But for now, I'm just going to wipe my face. It's story time. This is not a true story. I'll be back when I have everything on my desk. Okay, I'm back. I just got a wet one, but I might have to go back. Okay, let's hope not. So, like... Not a true story, but like this man came to my house, and like I'm like tw I'm like third I'm like 18 in this, and I'm actually in between 10 and one. So, and like I'm gonna be 18 in this fake story. So. This man came into my house. I just moved there. I thought everything was going great, like the best life. And I was scared at first because I heard stories. And I was like, oh, I'm so scared. My friends tried to calm me down by saying, oh, we know they're fake. But of course they're not. Not just how every story time goes here. And I believe them. Just saying, oh yeah, I know, I know, I know. Which I really shouldn't have, but it was my motto at the time. But, the next night, the second night I lived there, someone came knocking at my doorstep. And it was really creepy, because I didn't know who. Like, it could have been like a, like a priest or something. With Jingle Bell people. But if I didn't know who it was, I wouldn't have opened the door. But it was my friend, Jaden, who sent me those stories. But I didn't know why she was there. It was just a really scary time. And like, any time I would go someplace... I felt like someone was watching me, and I was right to be scared, because one day, when I felt scared, I turned behind me, and it was my friend Jaden. I, I of course, said, Jaden, what are you doing here? And she, of course, said, um, I'm sorry, I didn't know that was you, and I was like, stop faking around, I know. And she's like, wait, 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 you know? And I said, I know to get her to say, and she said it. She said, wait, you know that I've been spying on you with this man who's going to come and hurt you? And I was like, what? No, 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 not know that. But thanks for telling me now I'm going to call the cops. And and Jaden's like, wait, no, 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 you can't do that, you can't do that. And I'm like, why? Why, Jaden? Tell me, please. I would love to know. It's like, because I've already been to jail um, like a thousand times. And I'm like, that's not my problem. Maybe he shouldn't be a bad boy. And I'm like, and he's like, just please, 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 don't do this to me. And I'm like, sorry, you try to hurt me. It's like, I didn't try to hurt you. This guy talks me into it because he had a crush on you. I'll be back when I have, the, when I have something ready. Okay, so I'll scrub. I hope this works. <laughs> I'm taking a shower right after this, so it shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully. That's a lot! Uh. I don't think I need that much, but we'll see. And, like, I decided to call the cops. And the cops knew her, so they know she was bad news. And she stayed in there for a while. Because she was already there and the cops in the house. Okay. 
keep her in there for a while. And then the cops decided to keep her in there for about 15 years. So just fast forward two years. I'm living my best life knowing that my friend's in jail from trying to hurt me because she thought because she thought I was pretty and I found that out like one year later. If you guys like it, if you guys like this video, I will do a part two.